Yo, what is going on, Firepole fam? It's your boy BG, and welcome back to the channel. Alright guys, I got a little story for you today, okay? Let me tell you a little story. I was walking through my local Costco, doing a little bit of grocery shopping, okay? And as I'm, I'm walking in, doing a little bit of grocery shopping, I look to my right, and all I see is just a huge, enormous pallet of these five-pack Canto Tin collection boxes, I don't even know, and it also has four, uh, it has, it has four cards that come with it too, it has a Charizard, Pikachu, Dragonite, and a Mewtwo, I believe, and I was just shocked, I was like, oh, this is, this is 40 bucks, I bought it, just to open up with you guys on the channel, because it's, it's, it's super huge, it can't even fit on my camera, but I bought it so we can open it up on the channel right here, we're gonna open everything in this box, I'm gonna rip this box apart, and uh, we're gonna see what packs come in these Kanto tins because I don't think I ever opened a Kanto tin and I just wanna know, I really wanna know what packs come in here. So probably won't be anything crazy, but let me tell you, we're gonna pull a fire. We're gonna pull something in this video, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, I was just, I was like, oh, this is the best product Costco ever had, I feel. This was the best product I ever seen Costco ever have for Pokemon cards. So I was super excited about that. But before we crack into this box, if this is your first time on the channel and you love Pokemon card openings, please consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and also click that notification bell so you do not miss out on any future videos or future giveaways. Alright, I'm gonna rip this box open and then we're gonna rip open some packs and hopefully pull the absolute fire. Alright y'all, I just got everything out of the box, but before we crack into those tins, we're gonna take a look at the cards that came inside of the box and they actually look pretty clean. We got this Mewtwo for the first card and then we have the Dragonite, which I really like, probably the favorite one that comes in this box. And then we have, bang, the Charizard, beautiful card here. Really beautiful. I'm glad they put these in these boxes. Definitely going to make people want to purchase them even more. And then we have the Pikachu. The beautiful Pikachu. With the rainbow over his head. We got a swirl up there too. And the reason I like these cards so much is because they're like the old hollow uh, patterns that they used to do. In like the Wizard of the Coast hollows and stuff like that. They're just the old hollow pattern style that I really love. And I wish they would do uh, this, this hollow pattern more often. Because it's just, it's just beautiful. It's just so nostalgic too. It makes me just feel like a kid again. Love it. But now it's time to get down to some business. It's time to open up these tins, see what packs come inside, and hopefully pull the absolute fire. So let's see if I can just rip this open right here, right now. Oh yeah, it's opening like butter. Chuck that to the back, and we're gonna see what comes, what packs come in these tins, baby. I know a coin comes in these too, and a nice little artwork. Beautiful. We got the coin there, and then we have the Mew and Psyduck artwork beautiful beautiful art right there oh yes and then oh first pack there we got a burning shadows let's get these out of, oh they don't want to get out the tin we got a burning shadows and sun and moon so i'm expecting that in each of these tins and you know what that's a pretty good pack selection i'm happy with that so i just went ahead and opened up every tin to get the pack so just to make this a little bit of a faster video so we got five packs of sun and moon base and then we have five packs of sun and moon burning shadows maybe we can pull that that zerd you never know we're gonna find out but first we're gonna open the sun and moons just to uh, get a little warmed up, you know, for Burning Shadows, because Burning Shadows is a hot set, man. It's a hot set if you can pull that Zard. That's so, it's so hard to pull. Oh my god, if we were to be able... But look, first pack magic, baby. We got a white coat, so that's always good. If we were to pull that Zard, that'd be absolutely insane. Like crazy. But here's the energy. We got a Peluco. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. We got a Passaminion. Yeah. I don't even know how to pronounce any of these. We got a Cabrawler, I know that one, let me tell you. Growth, okay. The OG Surskit, a Hall Reverse, and a Kangaskhan Holographic. Kangaskhan, that's what I'd like to see, baby. I like me some Kangaskhan, put him to the back. Next pack up. See if we can get two white codes in a row. That'd be pretty sick. Check the pack to the back. Ooh, it doesn't want to show us. You know what, I don't want to see it. If it doesn't want to show us the color, I don't want to see it, let me tell you that. See if we can get some fire right here. Charge bug. We got a dragon air. A poison barb. We got a surskit. A wingle. Pop Leo. Come on, baby. Grouth. Grubbin. Okay. We got a Rotom Dex. And we got Incineroar. So that was definitely a green code card right there. Third pack in. Yeah, these these uh if you can get to Costco and you see these on the shelf, I would recommend picking them up. It's actually a I think it's a good deal. I really do. 
I really do think it's a good deal, especially if you just want to open up as much packs for the low, you know what I mean? Then get the box, get the box. Here we go, we got a green code card here, so I'm not expecting much, but we'll go through it quick. See what we can do. Poliwag, Skarmory, Morlul. Ooh, Poliwhirl Reverse, I like that, and another Incineroar. Okay, Incineroar is back to back. Next pack, we're almost done the Sun and Moon. We got one more Sun and Moon after this pack, and then we move on to the Burning Shadows. Here we go, green code. Oh, I hate these green codes. This is the green code channel. What the frick? Upside down energy? Okay. We got a switch. We got a hypno. Okay. Shelder. Togedemaru, Poplio, Zubat. And then we have a Parasect. Man, I don't see a lot of Parasects ever, actually. That's funny. I don't see much Parasects. We need, we need some more Parasects, okay? Why are they hating on Parasect? He's an OG. Here we go. Oh, this pack's a little messed up. There must be a banger in here. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is what we call Costco Resealed. That's what we call this. Costco Resealed. And we got a white code, so I like that. But this Costco Resealed pack... See what we can do. We get the leaf energy. Come on, baby. Go through this a little slower. Dratini. Okay. We get a side duck. Eevee. That's what I'm talking about. Picky Peck. Alone. Okay, we're getting we're getting the fire right now. We're getting the fire. Here we go. Oh no! Oh, we got a Professor Kooky or Kukiu. Yeah, we got a Professor Kukui. Yes, that's how you say it. Kukui. Oh my god, look at this. This is a beautiful card. This is absolutely beautiful. I wonder if this is a banger hit or not. Looks pretty nice. Oh, that, that that's a heavy hitter card right there. Let me tell you, that's a heavy hitter card. The full art trainers, man. I, I used to not like full art trainers. I'm in love with full art trainers now. I want to pull all of them from every set. Wow, last pack magic on the sun and moon base. Packs. That's beautiful. I like it. I like it. Let's sleeve it up. Give this guy a home and a sleeve. That's a beautiful card. A little off-centered, but you know what? Beautiful hit. I'll take that any day. Beautiful hit. Now it's time for the Burning Shadows. You know what? I, I, I don't get much luck on Burning Shadows. Ever since I opened it in the past, I've never had much luck with it. I once opened an ETB, okay? A elite Trainer Box of Burning Shadows, and it had all green codes. All green codes. And uh, judging by the first pack, it might it might be looking like that again, guys. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna go through it. Maybe we can get lucky. Maybe we can pull a Zard. We're gonna find out. If we were to pull a Zard, that'd be absolutely insane. That would like be be the highest point of my channel. Let me tell you that. Okay, pants here and a meow stick. Let's go with the next pack. We can do it. I believe in though. Trust me. I never I never doubt myself. I believe in. Chuck it to the back. Another green code. I'm just saying. Burning Shadows. It's a rough one. Okay? I think we all know that. I think we all know Burning Shadows is a little rough. Uh, evolving Skies. Let's talk a little bit about Evolving Skies. I am going to be doing a very large opening. If everything goes to plan. I will be doing a very large opening on release day. Hoping to pull that beautiful Rayquaza alternate art VMAX. That thing is going to be, oh, I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it, guys. We still have yet to see what EV cards are going to be in the in the actual Evolving Skies. At least I haven't seen any. Is it just going to be all the cards from... EV heroes? Like, I have no clue. Chuck it to the back. Ooh, here's our first white code. Okay, we got, we got to focus. Because this could be the Charizard. You never know, right? You just never know. This could be the Charizard. We're going to find out right now. Pikachu! Come on. Give me, give me the banger. Meryl. Char- Oh, Charmander. The beauty. We got a Butterfree, and then we got... The Dusk Nor. So yeah, no no Charizard there, but you know, just just thought I'd hype up 
hype up the video a bit. Here we go. This one's thick. Let me tell you that. This one's thick. I think this is also going to be a white coat. Chuck it to the back. And it is. It is. This could be the Zard. This could be the Charizard right here. Come on. Give me something crazy. We got Simitage, Noctowl, Dusclops, Horsey, Alolan Vulpix, we got a Sneasel, a Venipede, a Sandy Ghast, we got a Beware, and then we have the Zygarde, holographic, okay, I don't know guys, I don't know, I don't know. Last pack magic. Oh, to this five pack tin collection box from Costco. Let's see what we can do. Come on, baby. One last white code. One, one more. Chuck it to the back. We're gonna pull the code out. Ugh. I don't want to see if it's. I don't want to see the color of it. Let's just pray it was a white. Let's just pray. Here we go. We got a Buffalant, Olivia, come on baby, a Alolan Grimer, we got a Ryolu, Cutie Fly, Dewpider, Togedemaru, we got a Horsey, and we got a Lucario, so it was a white code, beautiful Lucario though, I really like that, alright, we'll take a little recap of the hits and uh, see what we pulled from, from these tins. So, basically, the only cards of interest, to me at least, are the Lucario Hollow. We got the Kangaskhan Hollow. And then we got the Professor Kukui. Or Kukui. Whatever you want to call him. Beautiful full art trainer, though. I really do like this one. It is so textured, too. Like, when you run, it's so textured. Uh, I don't know if I'll be grading this. Because it is a little off-centered on the front, left to right. But you know what? Who knows what I'll do with it? Who knows? I just want to admire it, to be honest, because it is just such a beautiful card. If you guys seen it in person, the colors, oh, it, 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 it just, one of those cards that pop, you know? And I'm very happy with this pull. And also, it's just nice that you get these inside of the box, too. We got the Pikachu. We got the Charizard. We got that Dragonite, my favorite Pokemon of all time. And then we got the Mewtwo. Beautiful cards here. Beautiful. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And also, if you're around a local Costco and you want to open up some packs for the low, go to Costco, pick up a couple of these boxes, and I'm sure you'll, you'll get some fire pulls out of it. That's for sure. It's me, BG, and I'll be back soon with some more fire openings. Until then, peace.